pricing. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am in Austin, Texas visiting the Austin Aquarium. Now, from the outside, it's basically, it looks like a, a shop in a strip mall. But the inside is much larger than it looks from the outside, so don't let that fool you. Face masks are no longer required, but you can wear them if you choose to. I'm fully vaccinated. I do carry my face mask with me, but I didn't feel the need to have to wear it in here because at the time I'm here, there's not a ton of people. There are a lot of people showing up out front, but not yet inside. They're only letting a certain amount of people in. The interactive things to do here take tokens. Each token costs $3. Each attraction or animal encounter, as they call them, take between three and five. The most that you will spend, if you want to meet with a sloth, that costs 20 tokens. So that's $60. So you got to decide whether or not you want to do that. But just to come here, walk around, and explore only costs the emission price, which was $20 plus tax. So. Spend only what you want to spend. Very popular place, especially on weekends. So we're gonna go and explore the rest of this place. I'm just right inside and let's get started. We're at the front. They have my favorite type of bird, the kookaburra. Absolutely love these birds. Fantastic little birds. Love the design of them, just to look. Hey, birdie bird. He's looking at all the people out there. All right, I came back to the other side. There we go. There is the kookaburra. God, I love these birds. All right, so as soon as I came in the door, these two lovely birds jumped on my shoulder, or flew on my shoulder, rather. So I'm kind of uh, walking around looking for a hat perhaps in the gift shop before I actually start walking around the facility. And they're just hanging out with me. So that's nice. Now everything inside takes tokens. You need tokens to interact with the different animals. So this is the birdies that were on me. He started to nibble on me, so one of the workers got them off my shoulder. So that way someone else can enjoy the birds. So right in the front, they got the lemur encounter. Got ring-tailed lemur. There's other ring-tailed lemurs. I'll snug it up together right now. Got a prehensile-tailed porcupine. All the different animals you can interact with. Got a kinkajou. Get the kinkajou. Hi, Fuzzy. So fuzzy. Got cute and fuzzy. So yeah, you can interact with all these animals. There's a second one. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Some nice colorful fish. Those are all Texas cichlids. See all the different coloration that they've got. Or color variations, rather. The yeah, top part's nice. Got all the different lizards. We got some bearded dragons. Oh, bearded dragons. Hey guys. I want to get the right idea of ready at the heat lamp. Got an iguana. What's up, man? How you doing? Now you can pet the animals. You just want to use two fingers only and you don't want to press on them. So you don't have hurt in the animals. Got a woodchuck. Thank you. 
We've got a Patagonian cabbie. It's interesting design of this habitat here. Another one here. I believe these are the same type of lizards that we saw over in the boat. The workers just put down their breakfast for them. The woodchuck up walking around. Got a couple of anemones and some starfish. The sea stars eat by attaching to prey and extending its stomach out through its mouth. Wow. Got these giant paku fish. Got a Hawaiian dragon eel. Now that is cool looking. Can't say I've actually ever seen one of these guys before. That is quite interesting. See some dories and some Nemos in here. We got this great big tank that has all of the different rays. A couple fish in here too. Starfish. Information here about coral reefs. Carrot fish. Seeing enemy snack on scraps from clown fish's meals. Or just take out some engineer goby. Just take out some other assorted colorful fish. Nice colorful fish here. Get a puffer. See parrot fish. I don't see any signage. To see what type of fish these all are. Got this tank here. Indo Pacific region. Some trigger fish. Emperor Red Snapper. Big Manji Tang, probably screw that up. Dog Face Puffer. Lunar Wraiths. Clown Trigger Fish, got some Squirrel Fish, Parrot Fish. You get this guy with a big nose. Oh, that's cool looking fish. Oh, there's a puffer. Puff it around. Good Asian small claw otter. Hi baby, how you doing? Hi otters. I got no food for you, I'm sorry, I'm just you looking for. Hi babies. 
But the others have some stuff to play on. Nice slide. And over into water to be in. Oh, they're following me. If you see my camera. Very cute. Otter's name are Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. That's cute. Alright, got a turtle and some lizards. This is a red footed tortoise. And the two lizards are Argentine and Tegu. Or Tegas. And they are a couple. They mate for life. Hercules and Inca is their names. Hercules is a little bit larger and he has a little longer tail, so he's the one on the left. And the facility is currently incubating eggs for them to hatch. Alright, you got these awesome fish. You see these in ponds, they are called koi. Got some ducks here also. And some turtles. Now yeah, there is animal food and vending machines that come in little plastic capsules. Suitable for the different animals throughout. Hi ducky duck. Lots of turtles and the fish. Look at that. What's up, buddy? Look at the fish. I need to pet the fish. Can you pet the fish? Fish like to be petted? Fish like to be petted? Fish like to be petted? <laughs> <laughs> I petted the fish. I petted the fish. See, when the people have the fish food, all the fish come up with their mouths open. Oh, that's a cool looking duck. See, the ducks enjoy the food also. And so do the turtles. The ducks got all that space up there to go hang out out of the water. Hi, right, duckies! That's a pretty duck. I like that duck. That's a Whistler duck. And they got Mandarin ducks. Nobody seems to know what type of duck this is, other than her name is Midas. Every time I ask a worker what type of duck this is, it's, oh, that's Midas. I'm like, well, that doesn't help me. So for sake of argument, it's a Midas duck. <laughs> we got some parakeets. All of the parakeets. Most popular pet bird species. Had parakeets growing up multiple times. Got a couple of macaws. On the right, cleaning its feathers. That is giant tortoise. A big fuzzy chicken. And another tortoise. This is a Salcata tortoise. I've mentioned at home. Uh, I have mentioned in the past that I have a Salcata tortoise at home. Hangs out in our backyard. His name is Sheldon. And this is about the size he is. Now he looks green here because of the lighting. That's not his natural pigmentation. But you can see 
on his legs, his front legs, he's got these little spines and that helps him to dig because he naturally dig burrows and they can actually get quite large. Let me get this another tank with a bunch of eels. behind. You got rough lemurs, red rough and black and white rough. Leaping lemurs. Boy, they are super fuzzy. Hi Fuzzy Wuzzy. How you doing? Hi Fuzzy Wuzzies. Hi Fuzzy Wuzzies. How are you? Don't be afraid of my camera. Oh, I actually it's kind of interesting. Hi! It's like, where is that thing? Hi! Oh, now he's got the other ones all interested. Whoa! You taking my picture, man? Yeah, you're gonna be on the internet. You're gonna be famous. You're gonna be famous. Pretty cool, huh? Famous are being very loud. He had an argument, maybe. See this one here, this is also a Sakata tortoise. And he's a lot larger. So they can get pretty large. Sheldon at home is about uh, a quarter of the size of this guy. He's the same size as the other one about. Got some other parrots. The facilities birds. Got this nice habitat. And there's a day gecko right here. Attached to glass. There's this awesome looking lizard in here also. Got a screen that specifies what all these in here are is not working. So if you happen to know what this is, any lizard experts, if you can put the description what this lizard is and a timestamp please so we all know what you are speaking about. We got a Caledonian giant gecko. And that definitely is a giant gecko. It can be shadowed because of the lighting behind it. It's nice and misty in there for them. We got a red eyed tree frog. Nice tank, also. And I see one of the froggies right here on the glass. It's a legless lizard. And he's all the way in the back. Now they resemble a snake because they don't have legs and they slither like a snake. But they are in fact a lizard. Got Malaysian walking stick. The difficult part is determining what is the actual insect and what is a natural stick. But he's actually right here. I'm sorry because of the mist, I can't get you a better view. But you can see how well they blend in. Got a savannah monitor. Now that is fantastic. This guy's got a very nice habitat. Got a crested gecko. Now that's cool looking too. A green tree python. Alright, I like this. That's cool looking too. Got an albino Burmese python. Wow, now that is gorgeous. I love the yellow and white coloration. 
You can see it's got the red eyes, which means it is an albino. Got some other nice fish. Look at a little turtle. Look at a little turtle swimming around. Signage isn't working for this either. So any of you guys that know about fish, let me know what type of fish these are so everyone will learn. Hey guys, these are the key build toucans. So awesome looking birds. Oh my god, I love these guys. You got those fantastic colorations on them. Look at that, my birdie. Hi. Hi, pretty bird. This big tank, they got sharks. These are not the dangerous apex predators that you would normally see in a large aquarium. Oh, that's cool looking. So these are bamboo sharks. That is so awesome right there. The bamboo sharks. So cool. These are the juveniles that are too small still to be in the the touch and feeding tank. Alright, there is a concession stand here. There's their items that they have available. Imagine this place is very popular with birthday parties. Alright, I'm waiting to go inside the aviary. Okay, white dove. Nice to get some iguanas. This cute little birdie. Got an iguana. So the lower one is a red golden pheasant, and the one above is a yellow golden pheasant. Wow. Oh wow, what a gorgeous bird. Hi. Hey, pretty bird. There's various little Tweety Birds in here. And of course more lizards. Wow, this thing's got so much coloration. They're silky chickens. Mm -hmm. no? 
chicken? Fuzzy chicken? Fuzzy chicken? Selfie chicken come over. Here's selfie chicken. Big chicken? Big selfie chicken? How do you want it? How do you want it? Who do you want it? Take a big guy's mind. You want it? You want it? No? Do you want it? Here. Here you go. Put on the floor for you. Chicky chickies. Silky chickens. Very aptly named. They are definitely silky looking. You got white doves. They have a lot of men here. It's nice to be able to get so close to them. And I just love the coloration on this bird. Absolutely gorgeous. And Mr. Lizard was just walking around. Hi, Mr. Lizard. Is it called Dr. Fish? Yeah. They just clean your hands. And they clean all the dead skin cells off your feet or hands. We got chairs here. All right, so I'm gonna put my hand into the Dr. Fish. And we'll see if the old straw around my hand. Oh yeah, I can feel them. To eat all the dry skin. I just feel this little nibbling. They swarm your hand. I'm gonna tuck my feet in so I tripped over my feet. <laughs> If I turn my hand over slowly, you can see them just just showing around nibbling. It's very therapeutic. So I'm guessing keep them in there long enough to eat all the skin off your hands. I mean, dead skin. You don't, you don't actually eat healthy skin. They're just dead skin flakes. Just like snakes, humans shed their skin, just not in all one big piece. We're constantly shedding skin. That's why you gotta clean your bed sheets every once in a while. Yeah, that's a weird feeling. So of course we exit into the gift shop. We've got lots of plush. All right, so the Austin Aquarium has lots of different shirts, but strangely enough, they don't have any hats. So I did mention it to one of the workers. He says, that's really strange. We don't have hats. I'm gonna make that suggestion. So perhaps in the future, we'll have hats for other explorers such as myself, but unfortunately no hat for me today. And educational books and storybooks. Of course, you have kid size shirts, all sorts of things you can get for your house, frames and shells, and lots of magnets and keychains and charms, other plush and some snacks. Got cotton candy and other assorted candies. We're at the front again. Check out the pretty bird that was on my shoulder earlier. All right, I'm back up front. I got one of my bird friends with me that landed on me when I first came in. So this concludes my visit to the Austin Aquarium. I had a fantastic time. I did not purchase any tokens as I didn't choose to do any of the animal encounters. I basically came here to check the place out and film it for you. So you use your discretion whether or not you want to purchase tokens and what different activities you'd like to do while you're here. There's lots to see, lots to do. 
If you don't want to spend money on tokens, you don't have to, to enjoy the animals, you can look. But if you want to get close to them and interact with them, it will cost you. There are certain circumstances where you buy food. There's a large koi pond, ducks. So there's lots there to do. And you only spend what you want to spend. So thanks for watching. Leave me down some comments down below what your favorite animal was. I enjoyed the birdies here, very colorful, as long as they don't start biting me again. But if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Upload new videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.